Hi, and welcome to your very first trumpet lesson. I would argue that this lesson is the most important lesson that you will ever have as an aspiring trumpeter. If you don't get started correctly, it can be a very frustrating process. Whether you've just picked up a trumpet for the very first time, or you're a comeback player, or if you're a music educator that teaches beginning trumpet, this video is for you. Stick around to the end as I'll show you the proper way to make your very first sounds. First, I want to talk about forming the embouchure. Embouchure is just a fancy word that describes how to form your lips in order to play a wind instrument. In order to form a proper trumpet embouchure, your bottom teeth and your top teeth need to have a little bit of space between them, your lower jaw slightly forward in order to create a flat surface to play on, your corners need to be firm, but don't confuse this with being tight. Once your corners are firm, the center of your lips should be very soft, relaxed, flat, and slightly curled in. Now that we have a working knowledge of the embouchure, let's talk about where to place the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece should be centered on your lips. When placing the mouthpiece on the center, it is extremely important that the top of the rim of the mouthpiece is not on the red of the lips. Likewise, the bottom of the rim should not be on the red of the lips either. This can sometimes happen if the placement is too high or too low. Without getting too technical, the part of the lips that are inside the mouthpiece have to be free to vibrate off of each other inside of the mouthpiece. That is what creates a great sound. If the top rim or bottom rim of the mouthpiece are on the red of the lips, it cuts off those vibrations. Because of teeth structure and other factors, there's some slight variations to this, but this is where you should start, directly in the center. But again, the most crippling thing that can happen with mouthpiece placement is if the top of the rim or the bottom of the rim of the mouthpiece is on the red of the lips. Look in the mirror to make sure that you're not making this mistake. Now let's talk about making your first sounds on the mouthpiece. With the proper embouchure and mouthpiece placement, you're going to take a full breath through the corners of your mouth and just blow steady air through the mouthpiece. We're not forcing a sound, we're just naturally blowing relaxed, steady air. Next, we're going to start by doing the same thing, blowing relaxed, steady air through the mouthpiece, but this time, you're going to gradually and naturally let that turn into a buzz. It doesn't really matter what pitch comes out. You're just trying to naturally let the buzz happen. We don't want to force it. Again, we're trying to create a natural and unforced sound. Let the air do the work. I'll demonstrate. Let's quickly review and put all of this together. You're gonna to form your embouchure, firm corner, soft center, jaw slightly forward, flat surface. Next, you're gonna place the mouthpiece centered to your lips. Then we're gonna blow a relaxed, steady air stream through the mouthpiece and gradually and naturally let that turn into a buzz. We're not gonna force or manipulate that buzz sound. Let the air do the work. If you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments below. Also, if you find value here, click like and subscribe and see you in the next video.